summit will take place tomorrow. India's presidency at the G20 will help lead to the kind of transformative change our world so desperately needs. That's what the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, said. For me to define uh, who will be in the Security Council is for member states. Um, it is obvious uh, that India is today the country of the world with the largest population. And it is obvious that India is a very important partner in the world multilateral system. But um, it's not for me to decide who's going to be in the Security Council. Uh, it is for me to say that I believe we need the reform of the Security Council to reflect the realities of today's world. I am not very hopeful that we'll have a peace solution in the immediate future. I believe the two parties are still decided to move on uh, with the conflict and uh, obviously uh, uh, we need to uh, pay tribute to all those that uh, with good intention uh, try to do everything possible for this uh, dramatic situation. Well, it's easy to blame the UN for what the member states do, <laughs> but uh, it's not it was not the UN that invaded Ukraine, it was not the UN that created the conditions for this conflict. So let's make things clear. The responsibilities of member states must be assumed by member states and let's not make the UN the scapegoat of the failures or of the negative actions that are committed by member states. Well, let's go across to Priyanshi now for more and the UN Secretary General talking about uh, what India's presidency of the G20 means. Give us more highlights from uh, what he said to the media. Gargi, the UN Secretary General has made certain very strong comments ahead of the G20 summit tomorrow. We're coming to you right from the UN House where the Secretary General uh, addressed a press conference right before the G20 summit. And one very important comment that has been made by the UN Secretary General is that he doesn't see a peaceful solution in the Russia-Ukraine conflict in the near future. He says that both countries have decided to take the conflict forward. So that's why he doesn't see the Russia-Ukraine war coming to an end, at least in the near future. And that's bad news, of course, coming in right ahead of the G20 summit because the Russia-Ukraine war has been one major point of difference or a conflict between several countries and that's one of the reasons that's stopping uh, the joint communique as well, along with, of course, the language that's used in the climate change sections of the joint communique. So another important point that the UN Secretary General spoke about is how India's presidency of the G20 could help. And he said that uh, we hope that India's G20 presidency will help lead a transformative change. We also spoke to the UN uh, Secretary General spokesperson who said that we hope that India's wisdom and India being a bridge builder for several countries could help in coming to a joint communique or coming to a joint statement by the end of the G20. That had, a joint statement has not been possible for the past few meetings of the G20 that India has hosted and even the previous meetings of global leaders. But this time the hope is that a joint statement can be arrived at and the UN Secretary General also spoke about that. In other important important statements that the Secretary General has made that are rather serious and that tell us at what point do we stand globally. It's a crucial juncture and how this defines India's G20 presidency as well. He said that India's G20 theme is one, one earth, one family, one future, and that resembles a dysfunctional global family. The global divisions are growing, is what the UN Secretary General said as well. 